Right, I've got the new tensioner and new seals in. As you can see, there's a new seal there in the camshaft. Um, and I've put one in the oil pump and the crankshaft. There's a new one there and a new one there. Okay, now I'm doing the tensioner. I've just left the spring off at this at the moment. Um, it's just sitting in the hole. Um, I've put the idler on and that's all torqued up. And the idler's down the bottom there, this one here. Um, I don't know if you can see that. That one down there. Um, so what you do is this slides up and down like so. When that's pulled back like that, that's at full tension. When it's right down, it's at full release. So what you do is you just let it flop down until it's full release. Make sure the dowel's in. This dowel here. Make sure that's in, because that's what it pivots on. And then let it rest. And then we'll get a 14 mil. and then just nip it up like so right now there's a fair bit of uh, stretch to put on that spring now to get it back up to the retainer which is here it's got a clip on there so what we've got to do um, not many people have got the strength to do this, so what I suggest is you get a pair of vice grips or long nose pliers. Hang on, I'll just get them and see if I can grab it one sec. There's not a lot of room. There's not a lot of room, so I don't know how I'm going to do it. Um, I don't know whether you'd be able to see this. Spring down there. <coughs> Basically, grab the spring with your long nose pliers, and if you can, which it might not work with this one because it's too much tension. Um, you can actually use a hook, a little, a little hook. Uh, which I haven't got one right now. Uh, what am I going to do? I'll try a pair of quick pliers. I'll see if this will work. Pull it up and click it on like that. There's a lot of tension on there, but that's to um, that's that's to pull the belt tight once it's on. Okay, so now that's up. The tension's off, so I should be able to slip the belt on. But I've got to put the gears, all the pulleys back on. So that takes a little while but basically what we need to do is get the pulleys which are all cleaned up over here and let's see I've got my marks on them there I haven't disturbed them I've cleaned them up but I've made sure those marks remained very clear okay so first of all we've got the pulley that crankshaft so that goes just careful not to touch those uh, marks line up the Line up the slots, the, the keyway, and it slides right on, right up to the hilt. 
and then over and then you put your belt over top of that and once you've got your belt on then you put the slinger on like so and that's that actually retains the belt keeps the belt from rubbing up against the case so if you miss that you're in shit so that has to go on after the belt's on okay then we've got our oil pump gear pulley it's got a flat on it um, so you see the flat there that lines up with the it locates on there just tweak that we'll tighten it all up later it's just to get it all located for now just button it up a bit okay okay that's on backwards as you can see because it doesn't line up so it's got to come off take note where things go because it the pulley has to line up so it has to go over the top that way so as you can see there's the wear mark of the nut on the top of that so my, my bad make sure it's on there properly don't pull it into place make sure it's located before you start screwing the nut on otherwise you'll stuff it if you haven't lined it up properly and just tweak it up so it's nice and just buttoned up yep and that's lined up so that's a perfect line for the belt because if you don't set that up properly you're going to end up you know if you put it in something on backwards you're going to end up having dramas okay so now we've got to put the cam gear on and that's just got a locating pin there's that little hole I was telling you about and then the circle and that's lined up with my marks so we had her in the right in the right way and you can see the locating dowel on the on the gear on the actual shaft sorry and, and there's the little hole that it lines up with right there okay so this goes up into place Very difficult to do one handed. <laughs> yep, tip. Okay, so you find the bolt for that. Where did I put that? Yep, so once I've got it all tweaked up, I'll set the belt on and we'll, um, we'll mark the belt. As we, as we as you saw before when we did the first part of this tutorial we put an arrow on the belt and then put the mark on the camshaft as we as it was in place counted I've counted the teeth all the way to here and it's in my case it's 78 and I've counted it three times and it's 78 so what we've got to do is check the belt the new belt to make sure there's no rotational marks on it which there isn't but I normally put the, the actual marks of the manufacturer in the clock so, it, so it's facing clockwise So because the engine rotates clockwise like so when you're looking at it so when you're facing you like that when it goes into place it's going to have all the markings like so and what we're going to do is we're going to make a mark and then count round 78 teeth and make another mark so we'll do that right now. So mark this tooth here. So that's one tooth. And now I've got to count 78 teeth including that tooth. And mark the 78th tooth. So I'll get back to you once I've marked that because I'm not going to do that two-handed. I'll make a disaster. Okay.